I shot a black bear once that was tearing a door off a cabin where my sister was the camp cook. Oh, boy. And the night before, I'd seen bear tracks all over the place, and I said, I ain't, I'm not going to eat much for dinner. I'm just going to be a light sleeper tonight. About 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear this boom, John, boom, another rifle shot. I step up. My aught six was right there. I blasted that black bear right on the doorstep <sighs> and wounded it pretty good. Jesus Christ. They die hard, man. Yeah, they're a they're a big, strong animal, a big, spooky animal. And, and they they're not, I mean, black bears, they're not even nearly as big as grizzlies, mm -mm. but they're still terrible. They, they sound like a dying man. Yeah. When you're, if you don't kill them first shot, they sit there going, oh. A buddy of mine, Mike Hawkridge, he's got a place called uh, uh, BC Outfit. Uh, I think it's uh, Big Country Outfitters. And uh, I hunted with him up in British Columbia, and he had a one of them was coming into a cabin. A grizzly was coming into a cabin. He literally shot it at the doorstep of the cabin. <laughs> it's like right there coming in, and he they're they're terrifying up there. And they they put a ban on hunting them too because all the people from Vancouver are like don't kill the grizzly. The grizzly's your friend. It's like the biggest scariest fucking thing in the woods. And it also, the wildlife biologists say they have to be managed. If you don't manage their population, then they decimate the population of deer and elk and moose and, and everything that lives up there. And so there's all these people that understand the balance of nature and these well-trained, well-educated wildlife biologists who make recommendations and then people vote on it, which is crazy because you're having people vote who are never even in the woods. You got people voting in Vancouver and they're like, don't kill the bear. The bear is your friend. We don't want trophy hunters. <laughs> but what they don't understand is like th th it, you're making life extremely difficult for all the people that live up there. If you don't manage those populations, you lower the amount of game that are there, the game animals. And also, you make it very dangerous for those people because now those bears are no longer scared of people. Because they used to associate people with gunshots and fear and you know people will hunt them. Now they think of people as food. Yeah, when the wolves come into town, if you have a dog out on a chain, yeah, you go out the next day and all you got is a collar, yeah, and a head, yeah. Wolves are unbelievable hunters. Unbelievable. They really are. I got a couple of creeks with different packs. <sighs> they'll if they get a moose, they'll camp there for a week and a half eating it. That must be so wild to see. I was out at one of my creeks. There was a calf moose stuck down in a tailing pile. It, couldn't make up the side of the tailings because they're so loose. So I called Fish and Game. I said, there's a calf out here if you want to come rescue it. And it was towards the end of the day, and they said, nah. I said, well, what about tomorrow? He said, it won't be there tomorrow. And I went out there the next day, and it was just bones.